Hello and welcome, my name is Poppy Shaw, this is Generator Underbelly in Jedi Survivor. Ready to go. Yeah, we're gonna proceed. Okay, right button and Y. That's nice. Not going down. Okay. And I'm doomed. Maybe I can make it there in time to pull. Nope. Okay. So with that comes up. Right button and Y. We need the tuner back. Gives them access to everything Cree locked down. Better catch up. Oh, I think you found something over here, didn't you? Look at that. Anything hydraulics? Should get us topside, I think. Okay, I think I go. All right, what else? Anything else? So we got the shortcut back. <laughs> we took out a whole elevator full of guys. What is that? Oh, was I supposed to put this one down or something? Oh, I don't know. I got a trap over here. So we're putting that one down. That lets me get Okay, so I went from the shortcut. I don't know, maybe let's check out what's over here, because maybe I missed something. Yep. Let's see if Doma's interested in this. Might have just been a secret area. I'm not seeing any further progress. So I think we need to go to where those guys were at. A too far. The signal 
You're gonna live on. Okay, could have sworn that was a uh, elevator. Can't get through. there in a second. Let's take a look over here. Maybe we can get to that turbo lift now. Let's stop for a moment. We'll rest up. That over there looks like a turbo lift. I'm curious what's up the elevator though. Let's go. Okay. 
This must have been an exit point because, well, what is this right here? Something's showing me some keys to control. side. to get over that way, but now that I have the ability to pull this down, that's, that's why they let us back here. I'd like to get down there. Okay, we can go up that. There's the one guy that we fought earlier. unparalleled. But sending a droid instead of facing me yourself, such cowardice. A small price to pay for her sparing your life. Tell me, did the Jedi's death satisfy you? He escaped. All those years of incarceration dull your edge. Sharp enough to see the Jedi might be your equal. Say it again and I'll cut out your tongue. It'll grow back. <laughs> Dakin, listen. The Jedi is a threat. Not now that we have this. I already duplicated the device's frequencies. We can now access any site she sealed. Well done, Ravis. You, activate the forest array. Go to the Shattered Moon. I know where Centauri hid the last compass. Dagon. After you have it, I will consider my oath to you fulfilled. What then, old friend? The galaxy has changed. There are many wars, but little honor to be won from them. Once we are in Tantalor, perhaps we can dream up a new war. You and I. <laughs> perhaps. Before I go, do you want me to scrap the droid? No. Centauri must have purged the droid's memory bank. Has no knowledge of the compass. I will tear it down to the bolts and reprogram it to serve me as it once served her. Got me here, I think. Okay, so I can go boom, boom, boom. I go boom, boom, boom.
Oh, come on. Slip right off the thing. Little help, BD. Better. He's close. Maybe these go higher? Look that. Oh, come on. I suck at parkour. Hey, look at this. I got a shirt off the wall. That's hilarious. Alright, now what? Did I just run around in a circle? For what? I'm supposed to go up somewhere? Z's close. When I get here, that's what they said, I thought. That leads back around to here. Possible. Go that way. You know what? Let me look at the map. I almost never look at the map. And it didn't really help me a whole lot. Okay. Ooh, something shiny down there. Pull that up. Okay, so when I come off the wall, maybe I can drop onto that. Oh, that's gonna go down. Maybe that's what got me here. Get it all turned around. Where else do I want to go? go. Alright, let's give this a shot again. There. Once I get to that top, is there anything up here? I don't see anything. Maybe there. Oh, what? What? Oh, okay. Give it a shot. Let's see what's over here. This is where I came in from, isn't it? I feel like this is where I came in from. Or not. This is new. Okay. Nothing over here. Shiny down there, let's get the shiny. The commander's gone. The ship's coming apart. Detach the spear. Do it now. Dagon could be anywhere. Ready, BD? If you're ready, I'm ready. What'd you find, buddy? Escape pods. Might come in handy. Oh, interesting. I'll save you, Z. All right, Z. Let's get you out of there. Do hurry, Cal. He's going to reprogram me. That droid is mine. I suppose I'll rescue myself. 
So you survived Ravis. How? The usual. You murdered your fellow Jedi. I struck down those who stood against me. Leave us or share their fate. Even if you believe the Council betrayed you, they were still your family. How arrogant that you would presume to know what drives me. What I can see is your obsession with Tantalor has blinded you. Whatever happened, you can't change the past. Trust me on that one. Perhaps you're right. The past is a chain. I must sever it completely. <laughs> Hang on, Z. That was the plan. stands in my way. Friendly as ever. You've delayed me long enough. <laughs> You're not getting away that easy. Thanks. Two warriors at the height of their powers bound in brotherhood. This is the 
Still not as tough as the frog battle. Man, that was the worst. Come on, Z. Let's keep moving. Perhaps that's wise. Dan and Gary is positively mad. He kept going on and on about some compass. Your master created them to navigate the abyss. This is the first I'm hearing about it. She purged that knowledge from your memory. That would explain it. Well, Dagon is certain that she left a compass for him to find. Let's hope so. Dagon sent Ravis to check out another array on the moon. Maybe we'll find it there. Back to the moon. Great. Oh, Master Kree, why did you send me to free that traitor? People are complicated. Maybe she thought the Order got it wrong. If only we could ask her. Please. Save us way out of here. Sure about that? No. Okay then. You seem nervous. We're going with him. Up aboard, Z. See you at the outpost. Yep, I'm coming. Never do that again. Dagon must have sent Ravis to get the compass. Maybe the forest array powers something on the moon. Uh, it's a guess. But if Ravis is on his way there, that's where we need to be, too. Escape pod. Or I could just slice the thing to get the the seed. Come on. Wah. Oh, hey, we got our fisherman man. Dangerous spot to catch a fish. Nay, dangerous fish to catch a. Sport. Sure. I that one swept the light, but sarcasm is weak to bait. Besides, I've gathered my focus for my quarry, the fearsome Glotsam Crab. One of my old crew, a mate on the Grapnel, once tried to pluck a crab from the sea foam, when suddenly, wham, overboard she went. Crab. All right, let's hear a story. Uh, where was I? Hi! She flopped overboard like a quillfish wriggling out of a tent. The crab yanked her in by the nostril. Sometimes you have to strike first, no? Do you really believe that? Uh, a flexible compass may not serve you on the roiling waves of Manan. 
but it does make the Caesar a soul easier to brook. No? Stay a moment, and I'll regale you with the next chapter of a tale. The tale continues. When we last spoke, I warned of the grapnel's arrival. That great ship came descending on us like an anchor cut in the deep. Ne'er a more fearsome ship did you clap my on. She was sharp, like a... like a... like a fish. Like the nose of a bony fish. She had three great claws. Aye, the, the landing gear. But when her great jaws parted... Aye, aye, the loading ramp. <laughs> Will you hush and let's give and tell the story? <sighs> her great jaws parted, disgorging her dread crew. A more vile pack of fisher folk yet never did see. At length, by the vilest of them all, Captain Wan Yek Wet, the bearded, bezelous bat that he intended to fish in our waters. Trophy hunters they were, in search of the most rare catches. Well, we Sakavians refused. We had the great famine to contend with, see? Every fish was precious. But the ferocious captain didn't care for our troubles. With a belch, he produced from his creel a mighty harpoon. Wait, cried Wee Scuba, hopping off of his rock. I know these waters like the taste of my own tongue. There'll be few fish beneath yon ice. But, continued I, if you take me with you, and if you leave my village be, I could show you how to coax the rarest of fishes onto your line. Aye. The dread captain stroked his briny beard. After a long moment, he held out his hand and grinned most terribly. Lord, said he, you be a mock. I'll be requiring another from a crew, one who knows the curve of the sea. Oh, Cal, if I could only go back to that moment when I shook Captain Wet's rigid hand, for they had never stepped off my wee rock, but my encounter with Undan had given me a taste for the unknown. I couldn't resist the call of adventure. And I had to save my people. So, I left with the grapnel, thinking the business done. I would be a fisher for Captain Quint. Of course, my adventure had only begun. For just when the grapnel hit orbit. More trouble, I take it? Ah, but that haver on long enough. I come back another time and I'll, I'll tell you more. Alright, well thank you all very much for coming along. I'm Papa Sean. Until next time, happy questing.